what, what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? A tanning addicted student who sometimes gets mistaken for a different race has argued that she's not a racist. She just likes getting a tan, like a heavy tan. 22-year-old Hannah Tittingser from Belfast discovered her love for being bronzed after she developed an amazing bronze tan while on holiday in Turkey in 2015. Since then, the beauty therapy student has regularly taken to sunbeds, but her color isn't all down to sun or UV. Hannah uses under-the-counter tanning injections of a substance called melanotin, which helps users go darker more quickly under sunlight or sunbeds. She says some people have accused her of trying to look like a black woman, but she's not trying to do that at all. She just likes the way her skin looks healthy and glowing with a tan. She said some girls can't live without getting their hair or nails done. For her, it's tanning. And while Hannah has admitted that she is on the extreme end, she has insisted that she is part of a growing trend in tanning in Belfast, with many using the illegal drug. Despite the side effects, which include leaving her feeling sick, her boyfriend, Ben Dunlop, 23, also uses the injections. Then she hit us with the big one, the juggernaut. The excuse that young people have used all over the world to get themselves in a heap of trouble. She said, everybody's doing it. I'm doing it because everybody else is doing it. She said that her and her boyfriend uses the sunbed for about 15 minutes, three times a week. She also said that they take injections for about one week each month where they have an injection before they go on uh, to the sunbed each time. Wow. I predict she'll have skin like a leather handbag within a few years. And God forbid, I also predict she'll probably have cancer because they're saying that these tanning beds and these lotions and injections and stuff that people are using causes cancer. So she pretty much got cancer on speed dial. What happened to the Dove commercial? I think Dove has one, probably one of the best accepting yourself slogans I've ever heard in an ad. Love the skin you're in. I like that. Love what happened to that. And doesn't it seem like the people who go out there and get these transformations to their skin, they seem to look better before they did the transformation. What is up with that? Even the people that do all these Botoxes and all that stuff, it always seemed like they actually messed themselves up rather than improving. I thought the idea was to like to improve your looks. And that it's like they're going backwards. And that look that she had, that's like a I read somewhere where she said that she wanted like this golden look. She wanted a golden skin look. That's not golden. That's more like a burnt mahogany or something. That ain't golden. Bad, bad, bad. All bad from my, from, from my end. I see her spiraling into a deep depression at some point. And the boyfriend got equal problems. It see, see, this is this goes beyond just you know, keeping up with trends. You know, every trend ain't supposed to be something that you jump onto. Somebody's supposed to be able to exercise some common sense and say, you know what? I know that's a trend, but I don't want no parts of that. Yeah, I know everybody else is doing it, but this looks stupid, and I just don't want no part of it. Like, somebody has to say, that don't look right. Some people just have too much time on their hands. This is not a trend. It's another obsessive disorder. And sadly, she'll pay for it later. In the meantime, my guess is that she'll continue to live in denial 
and hide behind her obsession. At least she's not tattooing her eyeballs. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?